Hey everybody, this is Chris with Simple Tech coming at you with this week's Simple Tech Tips. So Mac OS Ventura just dropped and a lot of people are gonna be wondering kind of what are some of the new things that are out there? Uh, and there's a couple in photos that I'm really, really excited about. So that's gonna be our next two videos starting with this one. Uh, this one, they're both gonna be short and sweet, just kind of like how to, uh, but one of the cool features that they have come out with was duplicate detection. Uh, so with duplicate detection, if you're like me, you take a lot of photos, you share a lot of photos, you know, you receive them from all kinds of people and all that good stuff, like your library can kind of become a disaster. Uh, so this week we're gonna just quickly go over like what is duplicate photos? How does it work? How do you use it in Mac OS Ventura? Uh, with that though, we'll be able to just do that so that we can go through, merge those photos and clean up your library a little bit. So if you're ready and you have Mac OS Ventura, uh, let's sit down and get started. All right, so to do duplicates in photos, it's actually really easy. Um, now, obviously, in some cases, you're gonna wanna do that because you got a library that's massive and a ton of duplicates. And when I did it, I think it found like 800 some odd. Um, and it also found some videos too, which was quite impressive. So we're gonna go ahead and open up photos. And so for me, it's down here on my dock. And um, I already have it opening up to, sorry, my big old head's kind of in the way, so I'm gonna slide that over a little bit. Uh, I already had it opened up to duplicates because I was testing things out and I was taking a look. So you can see here now on your, I can't click in, but over here on this left side, we now have duplicates right here that shows up. You also can get to duplicates by going to view and photos and duplicates. If for some reason it's not, that's not showing up on your sidebar, um, you could actually access it there as well. And so when you click that, it brings you to your duplicate. So it's already scanned my library. When I opened it up, it already was there. It already kind of gone through my library and did what it needed to do. And you'll see down at the bottom, it tells you right here, just kind of how it works, right? So it's got 761 photos, 29 videos. Um, duplicates are classified both as exact copies that ha may have different metadata, um, as well as photos that appear to be the same. Now there's a lot of duplicate finder applications that are out there. Um, and a lot of them like to pull in things that are taken within like a similar, similar time frame. I went through most of mine and I only saw where it identified duplicates, like exact matches. And you'll see that when you kind of look through some of these and you see like this is 2.4 megabytes, the one above it's 2.8, 4.4, 4.6, you know, 1.8. You're getting a nice little story of our family photos here too. Um, you know, 1.8, 1.8. So it's kind of matching them all up. And if you look at these two here, they actually almost look like the same exact photo to me, but it's split them out into two different ones. And you know, we had somebody else taking the picture, so the time might actually be five to 10 seconds difference um, when it comes to those. I haven't really dug in that closely to look at the, the metadata that's on those, but you can see it's done a pretty good job um, with identifying a lot of duplicates. And actually, a lot of these are different file sizes. So my guess is somebody went click, 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 like a rapid click. And so got a bunch of different pictures and then with different lighting and different things like that, the file sizes will change. Um, but you know, like there was, I was having a little fun when I was scrolling through here. Let me see if I could find June 30th. But I mean, even videos, right? So this is actually a video that um, it detected a duplicate. You know, my fun hey, dog uh, here. It's me, Kona. So yeah. But it's able to identify that these are exact matches. I'm not gonna put you through that again. So when you're ready, you'll notice there is no merge all button, at least that I could find. Um, so I think what Apple wants you to do is to verify individually with each duplicates that it finds. So then in that case, I'm gonna just do this one, click merge two items, merge duplicates. They appear to be the same, but have, may have unique resolutions. So they're warning you, they're trying to give you the heads up that like, hey, double check them. They may not be the exact same ones because we do look at different information, but if you feel pretty good about it and you just simply click merge two items and boom, they're gone. You can see it's merged it. They're no longer in that duplicates folder. Um, now granted, this might take you a while, but it's very, very helpful. You know, if you're gonna do this like over a course of a day, you have thousands of them or something like that, have a bottle of wine, sit back with a laptop on your lap, go through this, do it a little bit at a time. Um, but it could take you some time to get through there because like I said, I don't see a merge all button. If somebody does find that button, put it down in the comments, tell me where it was at because I kind of poked around a little bit and I couldn't find it. 
Uh, but that's it. It's really straightforward, pretty simple and easy. Just click those merge two items. It's gonna give you the warning, merge two items, and then boom, you are done. So it'll be a nice way to clean up your library and make sure it's a little more streamlined, reduce some file sizes that your library holds, uh, and get rid of all those duplicates. So when you're scrolling through, you can have a nice clean library. So if you liked this week's video, please, I just ask you just to like, subscribe, check it out, share it with your friends. Um, but this is what's new in Mac OS Ventura is this duplicates, and it seems to be pretty handy. Um, you know, but uh, if you need some other ones, there's a lot more on the App Store. If you need something that gives you a little more creative control versus what Apple's built in, take a look at those too. Uh, and until next time, we'll see you next week. Thanks.